It may look like these rhinos are being hurt, but they're actually being saved. The rhino is sedated, then a hole is drilled in its horn, before being filled with radioactive material. Why? To save them from poachers, these scientists say. By making the horns radioactive, we are making those horns, devaluing those horns in the eyes of the poacher and the end users. No one wants a radioactive horn. Poaching is killing, on average, one rhino a day in South Africa. The horn is the prime target. The Rhizotope project is making the horns traceable as nuclear alarms will go off in most ports, airports and customs offices. And the initiative is being backed by the UN's nuclear watchdog. By making the most of already installed nuclear security infrastructure, we are helping save one of the world's most iconic an endangered species. The project has been running tests over the past four years. The radioactive material is not harmful to the animals. The rhinos that you see behind me have been treated with radioisotopes at a very special place, the rhino orphanage, who have pioneered this technology with us, proving that the animals are safe and that the tick is now at the point of readiness to roll out to rhinos nationally. If proven successful, it's hoped the same method could be used to protect other endangered species like elephants. Dmitry Medvedenko, Al Jazeera. Don't miss out. Get the full picture. Subscribe to Al Jazeera for reliable news and expert insights. Like, share, stay ahead.